Get ready to match the star. Dick Gauguin, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Wright, Mary Ann Mobley, Richard Dawson, and Letty White as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 76. And now here's the star of Match Game 76, Gene Ramos! Hello there. <laughs> Thank you. I love your little short uh, robe. <laughs> <laughs> you... It's not a bathrobe. Oh, yeah. oh, I thought it was a little, sweet, little short robe. Thank you very much. Robe. If Pierre Cardin could see you, he'd go, <laughs> 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 it's right. All right. Are you quite finished? Rumbaba. <laughs> Rumbaba, that's right. Yeah. Oh, a little thread there. Don't pull it because my blank will fall off. That's there. right. It's all attached. That's right. Don't. I'm all attached. That's right. What do you say? Will you say hello to our two players, Kay Denny and Kim Ketchum, Kay. over Hi. here? There. <laughs> Kay Denny's the current champ. She has nine hundred and fifty dollars, and now she's being challenged by uh, Kim Ketchum. They both have their first round question. At this moment, the score is two to nothing in favor of the champ. Are you ready to carry on? Ready. Okay, we'll carry on in one minute and five seconds. Okay. Now, we're going to carry on. Shh. We are going to finish this game. Here we are in our second and final round, and we'll ask Kim Ketchum whether he wants A or B. I'll take A. A? Here we go. Everybody plays because he didn't match anybody in the first round. This is it. I have a modern story. Here's a modern story from one of those first grade readers about Dick and Jane. You're all familiar with that, aren't you? Yeah, right. It says, see Dick drink beer. Drink, Dick, drink. Uh-oh, Dick, too much beer. See Dick blank. Wait, 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 that's not, stop the music. That's not the end of it. I didn't feel you start playing the music, start playing. The end is, is too much beer. See Dick blank. Blank, Dick, blank. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute. How much beer did he drink? Was there a time element involved? See Dick involved? drink beer. Drink, yeah. Dick, drink. Uh oh, Dick, too much beer. See Dick blank. Blank, Dick, blank. I got, oh, I got. Okay. <clears throat> and that, uh, the, the three blanks, you know, quote, obviously right? you'll put the same word in the three blanks, right? See really? Dick. See Dick Blank. Blank Dick You don't have to it. rhyme anything, do you? <laughs> no, honey, you have to do it as well. Kim. Kim, that's an interesting name. What's the origin of that, Kim? I, my mother. <laughs> Your mother. <laughs> he brings horses, tails, and manes. Yes, he does. Is he Kim Ketchum? Oh, you rascal. Just pour a little filler in while they're writing their answers. That's right. We're very grateful to you. Very grateful to you. Now we shall come over here. Brett and Charles, now put your card in the slot there and stop it. I have my card in the slot. Charles, what are you doing there? Charles is always dragging tails. You know that. Dick. Uh oh, Dick, too much beer. See Dick Blank. Blank, Dick Blank. Okay? You understand. Oh, put it in the slot, John. was sick of it. <laughs> oh, dear me. It's terrible when you work with dingalings there. <laughs> the modern story, one of those first grade readers, Kim, about Dick and Jane. See Dick drink beer. Drink, Dick, drink. Uh-oh, Dick, too much beer. See Dick blank. Blank, Dick, blank. Throw up. What he say said, you? See Dick throw up? Yep. This is the Swedish word for throw up. Puke. See Dick puke. Yeah. Puke, Dick puke. <laughs> Same thing. Yep. Okay, there's one for him. What do you say? Uncle Gene and I don't like answers like that, do we, <laughs> darling? I said, see Dick go, go, Dick go. Go! <laughs> go, Dick go. What do you say? I think it's a match. Barf, Dick barf. Barf, Dick barf. <laughs> yeah, that's two for Kim. 
Uh, I thought that was going to be a rotten answer, and he's matched two of our celebrities, two out of three so far. What do you say, Marianne? Well, you know you don't have to worry about me. No, he ain't going to match <laughs> right, you. No, no. how? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I said pass out. See, Dick, pass out. Pass out, Dick, pass out. No, be nice. <laughs> okay. What do you say, Richard? And the bells of St. Mary's tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. Tinkle, yeah. See, tinkle, tinkle, Dick, tinkle. What do you say there? You can certainly separate the men from the beer drinkers around here. Yes, you can indeed. Go, Dick, go. Go, Dick, go. Did we match? What's that? We match. No, yes, I'm indeed. Very you upset. He's got two, so at this moment the score is tied. That means Kay just needs one to win her third game. Now, who plays? Charles in the lower tier. Egbert the elephant thinks he's a car. Uh oh. That's why he has a blank in his trunk. <laughs> Egbert the elephant thinks he's a car, that's why he has a blank oh, in his I trunk. I wish I were playing. I have an answer for that. <laughs> Give it to him. <laughs> Oh, you. Okay. <laughs> what nationality is Ketchum? Kim Ketchum. It's an English name, isn't it? Right. Right. Okay. Everybody ready over there? Yes, indeed. All right. Egbert the elephant thinks he's a car. That's why he has a blank in his trunk. A bag. A bag in his trunk. A bag. That's why he has a bag in his trunk. She said, Charles, what'd you say? That's a doctor, isn't it? Well, a lot of people rent rooms in Encino. <laughs> no, no, we, all have... <laughs> we no, never take a meant... bag Shh. with us. No, you see, he, uh, a car, trunk, carries luggage, bags, suitcases, all that. And she said, bag. Tire. Tire is good. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. Kay Denny's looking for a bag. And I think she found one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> What do you say? Yes. <laughs> no, I said spare. Spare is good. Spare is good. Richard? Well, he wasn't really a car, just thought. So, now, he right? thought he was a car, right? Yeah, he was really an elephant. He was really an elephant, right. So I said he had a horn in his trunk. A horn in his trunk. Gagooga. What do you say? I said he had a tire in his trunk. A tire in his trunk. So this game ends up in a tie, okay, and we'll tell you what we do when we get a tie right after we tell you about this. A tire break. Caught me. Yeah. All right. We're going to go to a tiebreaker. We have to get rid of all of these numbers here and all of those symbols and push the tiebreaker button there. Reveal one question for each of you. The one who matches the most celebrities will be the winner. Kim, it's your choice. Uh, B. B. Let's see what we've got here. He switched from A. Yes. The doctor said, uh -oh. We gave that patient a transfusion using Dean Martin's blood, and now, <laughs> and now the patient is blank. <laughs> we gave that patient a transfusion using Dean Martin's blood, and now the patient is blank. Dick is Dickie. Dick Goye is very clever. Yes. A little drawer. Yeah, that's a very good answer, too. Good. That's good, y'all. Just put it in here. <laughs> right? Okay, everybody all set. Here we go. <laughs> Kim Ketchum. You know who Dean Martin is, don't you? Yeah, yeah, the patient, the doctor said, we gave that patient a transfusion using Dean Martin's blood, and now the patient is blank. Drunk. Drunk it is. The audience is cheering his answer. The audience knows what I have written here. I put drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's very fancy artwork, isn't it, there? What do you say? Old thing I've never heard of anybody. I put drunk. Drunk. Oh. That's two for him. Him catching you know, I worked with him four or five years. I had a wonderful That's right. time. Yes, I and know. And one that. time we were both drinking. Yes. And he picked up my drink by mistake. Yes. And went, oh, what is that? He drinks it very watered down. I swear. Yeah. But drunk. But drunk. Okay. All right. Yeah. That punch. Yes. <laughs> but you did. Yes, it's a charming story. story. What did he mean? <laughs> 
It's human interest. It oh, is I human see. interest. Everybody thinks he really belts him down, but he doesn't. What do you say, Marianne? I am so excited. Why? Do you know why? Because you're sitting near me. Is that why you're excited? That, that, that's the main reason. Oh, yes. What's your secondary but I reason? But I finally matched. No kidding. Right? I don't believe it till I, I see it. I said looped. Or looped drunk. Looped or drunk. That's four for Tim Ketchum. That's four for him and one for her <laughs> on the week. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dino doesn't always say drunk. He says stone. Stone. That's fine for him. Keep the letters coming in, folks. Now, Betty, don't tell us you're going to break the magic spell. I... You see, there was this elephant. And, oh, yeah. He, and he thought he was Dean Martin, so he had a dire in his drunk. I <laughs> see. A dire in his drunk. dire in his drunk. You hear that, Joel? She said he had a tire in his drunk. Uh, you didn't hear that. I didn't see you laugh, Joel. When the celebrities do jokes, laugh. Okay. Now, shall we carry on? You know what you have to do? Six. You gotta get six. That's right. And we'll have another tie if you do oh, no, that. We're all gonna try and get another tiebreaker. I love Dumb Dora was so dumb. <laughs> First she put pancake makeup on her face, and then she put on blank. <laughs> dumb Dora was so dumb. First she put oh. pancake makeup on her face. Then she put on blank. Oh, I think this is a winner. Okay. Even Jaws is finished. All right. Ready. Now, we come to Kay Denny. Come to her, I was so dumb, uh, uh, dumb Kay. First she put pancake makeup on her face, then she put on... Syrup. 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 She said syrup. S-U-R-U-P. Syrup. That's what I put. Syrup. Said, syrup. I said, the drawing didn't make it. I don't want to show it. I'm ashamed. Oh, all right. <laughs> yes, okay. Nice try, though. So there's one syrup for... you need. got to match all of them now. Let's see what happens I here. think it's going to be another tiebreaker, and I love them. Syrup. syrup. There it is. Two syrups. Charles? My third set of teeth. My second set went to syrup. Second set. <laughs> It D caused carries. Now, here we go with Marianne. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Should we wait a minute? Wait a minute. Hold on. Now wait a minute. No. Oh, should we start at the other end? <laughs> it's not that I don't trust you. I know. You can make it up to me later. Da 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 da. <laughs> what do you say? What did she do? Put pancake. She put pancake makeup on her face, then she put syrup on her on her pancake. I dated a girl who used to put gunpowder on her face. Gunpowder? Yeah, her complexion was shot to hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Syrup? Five syrup. Four now is six to five. Now. Uh, we'll talk uh, of the devil. Uh, uh, Here she is. Uh uh. She put pancake on, on her face. Face, right. Then she put syrup. Don't give me that crepe. Syrup. Yeah, all right, crepe. Okay. It's a double tiebreaker. So that's two tiebreakers. Both of them had six celebrity matches, and we've got to wipe this slate clean now and go to another tiebreaker. Whoops, there's another tiebreaker. Now, Kim, it's up to you once again. Uh... Be again, I guess. Be again. Here we go. When Weird Willie found a fly in his soup, he threw out the soup and blanked the fly. <laughs> Remember it? When Weird Willie found a fly in his soup. When Weird Willie found a fly in the soup, he threw out the soup and blanked the fly. I got it, huh? All right. Excellent. Okay, here we go. Kim Ketchum from Vermont and various other places. When Weird Willie found a fly in his soup, he threw out the soup and blanked the fly. He ate the fly. That's right. Very good. He's a pretty good game player, isn't he? Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> he... Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He ate the fly. Ah! Ah! 
He loved it, too. What do you say? He wanted something solid, so he ate the little fly. Ate the fly! Charles? Oh, what a change of pace. Ate the fly. Ate the fly. That's three for you, Kim. Weird Willie found a fly in the soup. He threw out the soup and ate the fly, according to him. What according to you? Uh-oh. da 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 You gotta trust me. We don't trust you. <laughs> and you're right. Yes. He ate. He ate the fly. I gotta watch get into her. That's two in a row. That's three, three in a row. Oh, three in a row. On a yes. Are you all I right? Feel flush. Yes. <laughs> what do you want, Richard? Well, <clears throat> throw out the soup and devoured the fly. <laughs> devoured the fly. That's five for Kim. How about you? You say the same? Is drank the fly a match? Drank the fly? No. Ate the fly. Ate the fly. <laughs> so, Kim, you did it again. Now, we'll have one for you, but not now. Now we've got one for you, dear friend. Here it is. It's tough. Holy <laughs> oh, oh, Didn't mean to be late. I always try to be prompt there. Now, here we are in the middle of a tiebreaker. He's matched all six celebrities, so that means you know what you have to do. All right, listen carefully now. It's very important to that sweet little lady. Did you hear this? Did you hear that Kojak tried a bottle of hair restorer? No, isn't that good? Yes, it, it didn't work. No. Aww. Instead of growing hair on his head, it grew hair on his blank. <laughs> That's what happened. Kojak tried a bottle of hair restorer. Did you hear all of that, Kay? And instead of, it didn't work. Instead of growing hair on his head, it grew hair on his blank. Right. Instead of growing hair, there were so many alternatives to that. You want to make sure you get the right one. All right. To get hair on his. Okay. Okay, I got it. I think. All right. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Now, Brett, what are you doing? Well, darling, I'm changing my mind because I okay, want to make right, hair. Right, make sure that. Kate, Denny. I give my all and my best. Kojak tried a bottle of hair restore, and it didn't work. Instead of growing hair on his head, it grew hair on his chest. Chest. Chest ain't bad. That's one place you grow hair, right? You gotta match everybody. Need six chests here. Show us your chest, Dick. I said, grew hair on his lollipop. Yeah. Grew hair on his lollipop. Yeah, very good. What the rest of you have? And, two, three, four. Congratulations, Kim. Okay, stand on the tape. Right there on the adhesive tape. That's it. Okay, we'll get back to you in a second. We're gonna say goodbye to Kay Denny who's going to be leaving here with a total of $950. Thank you very much. to Kay Denny. Thank you. Goodbye, dear. All right. How do you feel? Great, great. You're Good. really lucky. <laughs> okay. Now, Kim, here it is. And here's your big chance. You could win over $5,000 here. We pulled a recent studio audience, Kim. We got their best response to this. Can of blank. The answer they gave most often is worth $500 if you match it. $250 for the middle one and $100 for the bottom one. Let's see who's going to get give you some good answers here. I'll try Dick. I would say can of worms. Can of worms. And Richard? Can of peas. Can of peas. And Betty? Can, can of beans. Can of beans. So you got worms, peas, and beans. You want one of those? Or maybe you had a thought in your mind that you think is better? I'm going to try a can of beans. Can of beans. We're looking for a can of beans, friends. Let's find out if it's up there. May we see the $100 response. Can of peas. That's one answer that was suggested, but no uh, beans there. Let's see if we get a can of beans out of the $250 response. Can of worms. Well, two out of three of the ones they've suggested so far. That may be a good omen. Here it is, last chance for a can of beans, slide it Earl. And yes, congratulations. Very good. I saw the way you kissed that young boy. Now, that means you have a total <laughs> of $600, Kim, and you're going to play for 10 times that amount, or $5,000, but you got to match one celebrity to get it. 
Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll go with Betty. All right, Betty, get set Kim. to right. You swing around here and face me, Kim. And this is it. It's worth 5000 Political blank. Political blank. All right, she's finished her answer, Kim. We need a response from you that you think will match hers. Now, get your ESP going over there and try and figure out what you put on that card. And say it when you think you've got it. Political blank. Political science. Political science. I suppose that would be in a, in a young person's mind who went to school fairly recently, is that right? Yes. Okay. He says political science is going to match you for 5,000. Oh, Kim, I'm sorry, sweetie. I really am political campaign. Mom. Campaign? Yeah, we're right in the middle of them right now. Well, listen, sorry. Kim, you're still the champ, and you're going to meet another player right after we do a little business with America. It's yeah. time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Jim Hayden here. Goodbye. 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 Johnny Oates, the game for Match Game 76. Amar Brooks and Bill Trotman production. Stay tuned to Panel Tales next on the most of the CBS News.